Hey friends. I wanted to talk a little bit about disappointment. <laughs> I probably, um, it would have been a really good idea if I actually thought a little bit more about what I wanted to say before I pressed record on my camera, but I didn't. So this is just very much from the heart because I think disappointment is a really uncomfortable emotion and I think a lot of people are experiencing it among a million other emotions right now. So I just had a number of events canceled because of coronavirus and I'm really disappointed about that. Uh, there was a weekend workshop up at Kripalu in Massachusetts that was canceled and then I was supposed to go to New York to see Mrs. Doubtfire the musical and uh, do some press around that and that got canceled. They have canceled Broadway. Um, too many people gathering and that's not a good idea right now. So that got canceled. I had a yoga for combat veterans training that got canceled. A number of other things that are just now no longer happening. And I'm sad. I'm sad about it. I'm sad about it because my work is really important to me and I love sharing it and I think these topics that we talk about in the workshops of how to deal with anxiety who doesn't need that right now? You know, how to deal with anxiety and depression and how to talk about mental health and how to take care of ourselves. Those topics are really important to me. And so it's sad and disappointing to me that I can't do that. I was going to see friends, so I'm disappointed about that. I really wanted to support the play and so I'm sad I can't do that. Um, I'm definitely taking a financial hit from this and I'm, I'm not getting paid for these programs. So that's difficult. Um, you know, that's, it's not going to sink me, but still not ideal. And so I'm just feeling really sad and really disappointed. And as I talk to more people, I'm realizing that there are a lot of us that feel that way and we don't know what to do with it. And so I just wanted to share some of the things that I tend to do around this, this feeling of disappointment in case they're helpful for you. I don't have all the answers, but this is just kind of my process that I've been working with lately. So we all get disappointed. We all have things that don't work out, things we were emotionally tied to. We get our hearts broken all the time. That is just a fact of being a human being that cares about things in the world. It sucks. So I think the first thing is to just recognize that, that there is disappointment right now and that that is a really difficult emotion to deal with. So first of all, recognizing that, feeling it in your body. I think all of us are walking around kind of with our shoulders up around our ears and feeling a knot in our stomach these days. Things are so crazy and unpredictable and chaotic and out of our control. So notice what effect it's having on you, on your body, and know that it's, it's okay. You know, it doesn't feel good, but so many of us are experiencing that. So you are not alone. Next, I think it's really important to not do the thing that I've been doing. <laughs> so cautionary tale. Here's what I've been doing. I get sad and disappointed that events have been canceled. And then I beat myself up because I'm sad and disappointed that events have, have been canceled because I say things like, well, this is literally a life and death situation for a lot of people right now. And so what right do I have to be disappointed when people are actually dying? And I think, well, you know, I know people, I have good friends who are in dire financial situations because of this. They're looking at losing their jobs, losing their businesses. I'm not in that situation. I'm very fortunate and grateful that the financial hit that I'm not taking is not detrimental. So I beat myself up about that because I think so many other people have it so much worse than me. So don't 
do what I've been doing. <laughs> I'm gonna try to use this as a reminder to stop myself from doing what I've been doing. Don't beat yourself up because other people have it worse. Somebody is always gonna have it worse and somebody is always gonna have it better. So let both things be sad. Like it can be sad that there are events canceled and it can be sad that people are in really, really difficult health situations. Like both of those can be sad. There is unfortunately an unlimited amount of sad to go around. So it's okay to hold both of those things and hold yourself gently if you are struggling with something that is maybe not necessarily the worst case scenario. So that's something that's kind of helpful for me. And then give yourself space to be whatever you're feeling about this, whether it's anxiety, worry, stress, disappointment, whatever it is, give that space. If you pretend that you're fine when you're not fine, real trouble comes out of that. That is when things get really, really hard and it just gets worse and you store it up in your body and then it comes out in some terrible way. So accept that that's the feeling you're having and deal with it. Don't try to distract yourself. Um, I don't drink anymore, but man, have I been wanting to lately, right? Because we want to numb out. I really wanted like a bunch of wine the other night. I decided to go with a bowl of cheese instead. <laughs> that was how I kind of treated myself and uh, numbed out a little bit with cheese. It kind of did the trick, but you don't need to numb out. These feelings are uncomfortable, but you can handle them. So keep that in mind too. And then finally, I think even though there is so much uncertainty, we can start to think about what does life look like from here on out? What changes can we make? How can we pivot? How can we adjust? I'm starting to think about how do I do more of my classes online rather than in person? Because we don't know how this is gonna change the world. We don't know when it's going to get better. So what can you do in the meantime to keep doing the things that make you feel alive? Keep helping the people you can help. Keep being there for your friends. Oh my God, reach out to your friends. Like text everybody, check in. FaceTime is a wonderful thing. So be there for everybody that you possibly can. That actually makes me feel a lot better. So it's good for them, but it's a little bit selfish too. So I hope that helps a little bit. I don't know. It's a really challenging time for a lot of people right now. So if you have tips, if you have thoughts, leave them in the comments. I would love to hear them. I would love to connect with you in a way that is safe and means we're not spreading germs. And you know, you can say a lot about the internet and social media, but it is an incredible way for us to build community in a time where it's not entirely safe to do that in person. So thanks for watching. I hope you're doing okay. And um, we'll keep in touch this way. Okay, take care of yourself.